Today we're going to play one of my favorite games of all time, Streets of Rage 2. Um, this is the opening intro to Streets of Rage 1, so you get an idea of what's going on and why I'm doing it. Um, I'm just sitting here reading it. Um, a syndicate has taken over the city, and three cops are, you know, have sworn to clean up the place. Well, the character Axel Stone will not be appearing in the video, but this is just to show you what's going on and why. Okay, so this is the oh, you know, screen for Suture Rage 2, so we're gonna press start here. One player, of course. The two characters in the video are gonna be Axel and Blaze. Those are my two favorite characters. The beginning part's gonna be mostly Blaze, while the remaining portion of the video will be Axel, because I'm better with them. So we're gonna start with Blaze. And you know, for Sega music, this is really good. Like, I love this music, just listen to it, I mean, you beat up people, you're like, yeah, yeah, this is awesome, but just listen, listen. Kind of like how, uh, Blaze is kind of, uh, dancing there, kind of makes me wonder, what if, what if she kind of, oh, okay, um, uh, yeah. Fanboydom is calling, and Blaze has decided to respond. <coughs> Anyways, farther in the game, you get to this, like, you know, ballpark where, you know, people are just sleeping and you beat them up. But you go to the arcade, you play some of the, you know, bare knuckle arcade, which is the original name of this game in Japanese. So it's funny, you beat up the machines and you get money and food. You know, if I was ever hungry or poor, just go to arcade and beat up the machines. It should be fun. Anyways, you go on a pirate ship, and you fight normal people, which you would think would be pirates, but you know, it doesn't matter, this game is awesome. I love this game. It's just great. I mean, the gameplay is awesome. You grab the one up there, you know what I'm saying? But can someone explain to me, why is there a ninja on a pirate ship? It makes no sense. It's like saying, go, you know, there's gonna be, you know, pirates, you know, in a dojo or something. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, so you jump off of it, which look like you were at sea, but whatever. <clears throat> you go into this creepy forest, and you know, you punch stuff and they blow up. Why? I don't know. You get a sword, you start shanking people, it's, it's really fun. Yeah, you beat that, you know, uh, get, get an apple, cut the signal because, well, he's a douchebag. Grab the fruit and uh, keep going, and what is that? Like, is that an alien? Is it a... Is this like a horror, you know, theme park ride or something? I, I don't understand. And then you, you know, suck a punch it, then, well, it kind of touches you and you fall over. I guess you get scared and you fall over. I don't know. So you kick it, you beat it up. But just look at that. Just. What? That would break your spine. I mean, look at that throw. Anyways. So, after that creepy horror thing, you go to a ball park, a legit one, and you beat up a guy called Big Ben, who has lots of life points. But, I mean, just, remember the last thing I just showed you? Yeah, explain that one to me. I'm pretty sure something would break. Anyways, the basement mound goes underground, it goes really fast like an elevator. Why? I don't know, it just happens. But, you know, I love this game. I love this game. It's great. You go into this arena Roman thing, and people are cheering, you're like, okay, what's going on here? But, ah! Randy Couture! Okay, just kidding. But now, why would they have an underground arena underneath a baseball mound? It, it makes no sense. So you beat up Abadidi, or whatever, however you pronounce it, and you can't hit him too much, or he'll, like, you know, flex his back, you're like, oh, too beautiful, and fall over. So you upcut him to death. He finally dies. From there, you go onto a ship. Okay, so is there gonna be ninjas on this one as well, or is there gonna be pirates? I don't know. So you throw people into each other, which is always fun. Freaking heart over those laughing at me. The freedom. Oh, I take it. Yeah. So you get above deck, which it's nighttime now. I, I don't know, it just is. <clears throat> So you shank people with a sword because it's fun. 
there's a, uh, you know, biker guys. Oh, and ninjas. There's the ninjas. There they are. That one guy just waiting for me. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna go all ninjutsu style on this. I'm like, no, no, no you won't. And there he is. Oh, he's got a sword too. I forgot about that. What? So anyways, you go farther in the game and you beat up people to the boss and you're like, yeah, boss music. It's good music. You know, having a fight during the night seems kind of good, you know? All that physical work and it's cool breeze. So anyways, this is the closest thing you get to a pirate on a ship. Some guy that looks like, you know, the, you know, I, I don't know how to describe him. He looks like a upset Mario on steroids is the best way to, I don't know. So, uh, you beat up Red Bear. Yes, he's brown red. Ho ho ho, Red Bear. But why does he dance, like, on Metal Point? It looks like it would hurt. I, I don't know. So you beat him up, you go to this factory, but this place sucks. But, so, you know, we're just gonna skip it. Yeah, yeah, I just did that. So you go to this elevator. Kind of reminds me of like a lot of games that did elevators, you know. It's kind of an endurance round. You just gotta keep, you know, fighting people, and then the elevator will keep going. I'm just glad it's not like real life, where you gotta beat people up, the elevator keeps going. I don't know. So, anyways. So, for some reason, you get robots. They were never mentioned in this game before, it's just, oh, look, robots. Particle and monocle, I believe. And. Yeah. I, I I don't know what to say to this. But you know, all this fighting stuff, you know, needs good music. Okay, so stage 8 begins, and uh, it's all quiet and serious all of a sudden. You beat up Barrett Jr., which you kill his dad and him, so that's kind of brutal. You fight past bosses like Nail, uh, that weird, you got Randy Couture's fighting friend, Zoo Kasuno, I don't know. So eventually you get to the top of the elevator, Mr. X puts his bodyguard against you, which is like a black belt karate guy. I kind of like if the Karate Kid got like, you know, corrupt. This is him right here, as a grown up. So he dies, eventually. Then you got... Well, you just get owned, because you bring your fist to a gunfight. Makes sense. At least that's a challenge. You know, you uppercut people and you beat them up. And... But look at that, he just shoots randomly. Not, not towards me, just kind of just shooting, you know. I mean, this atomic I'm sure I'd love to shoot it too, but I would actually aim it. You know, it might hit. Oh, there it goes, hit me. It doesn't. It really does any damage? I don't understand. It's a gun. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that much. I mean, look at that. I hardly took any damage from that. It makes no sense. And he laughs. So, anyways, you beat him up. Bullets, you know, fly out of his pocket. I guess he gets up and falls over. So, all that fighting, you know people you killed for no reason and you save your friend and then you uh, get an ending that could have been done in you know Microsoft PowerPoint you know like slideshow feature oh yeah so oh my god look at those oh he has worked out way too much so anyways you get all the heroes they're all looking out to a sunset waving at a helicopter or waving a hello or goodbye I can't tell it's up to you but anyways that's Streets of Rage 2. It's a pretty good game. The storyline story isn't great, but the gameplay is really...